Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 1143, snapshot arrays. Uh, the way we'll be solving this problem is by actually keeping a track of the set of changes that we encounter instead of actually making a copy of every single array. Uh, making a copy of every single array is very um, uh, intensive on the memory, so it doesn't make sense to do that. Uh, and it's the most, not the most optimum solution. So we'll be keeping a track of the changes instead. And how will we do that? Uh, we'll be doing that by creating an array of like a tree map structure. So anytime there is um, a set method, we will um, take, we'll, since we're keeping, we are keeping a track of the snapshot array, we'll store the snapshot array and the value in that particular index. Um, it becomes a lot easier once we start coding it. So let's jump right in. Uh, so what's the first thing we need to do? We need to create the tree map array. Um, so the tree map will just be storing the integer and integer, which is the snapshot um, ID and the value itself. And and you also need to keep a track of the snap ID. So let's just keep uh, initialize that to zero. And once you get um, to the snapshot array, let's uh, initialize a map, be new, tree map um, of, uh, of length, length that's given to us. Awesome. And then for each and every single index, we want to put in a new tree map. So that would be uh, a for loop for int i equals zero, i less than length, um, increment i. So it would be map of i equals new tree map. Um, and then what you would want to do is, since the snap is uh, snap id is at currently at zero and everything is initialized to zero, so let's do that. So it would be map dot put, uh, sorry, map of i dot put the snap id which is zero initially, and then the value which is zero. Awesome. So this sets us up for the entire problem. Um, yeah, so set. So what does set look like? So that would be, we we'll try to get the index. And then this, so this index right here keeps a track of all of the snaps ID, snap IDs mapped to their values. So you would say uh, dot uh, put uh, snap ID, the current, current one that we have, and then you would put the value. Awesome. And then within snap itself, you would just increment the snap ID, nothing more to that. Uh, it's not void, you're actually returning it, so you would return that. Um, and then get. So get would be map of index. And um, the thing is, if there wasn't a change for a given snap ID with the given index, you can't really look for it directly. So what you need to do is you need to look for the the floor key. So you would actually look for floor. Let's actually get the entry since we need to get the value. So we'd get the floor entry and then you would say um, snap ID uh, dot get value. So what exactly are we doing here? Um, so for example, um, uh, your index one value gets changed at like snapshot five and six and it's asking you for a value at four. Um, so it's asking you snap ID four um, at index one. So you don't have any of those values stored up. So you try to get the floor um, key. So that's the reason why you're trying to use the floor entry right here and then send the value. So you would return this. Um, awesome. So let's compile this and see if it's okay. The first test case is okay. Everything else is okay as well. Awesome. So let's talk about the space and the time complexity. So the space complexity of the entire solution is of n, where n would be the number of times the method set is called, because that's when we are actually storing something into uh, the tree map um, array. And then the time complexities for all these methods are a little different. For the snapshot array, it will be of n, uh, since we are going from zero to the length to put the put like zero uh, zero zero values in it. Uh, for set, it would be of one, uh, since you're trying to get the the index and just you're just adding something to the tree map. Uh, snap ID would also be zero one. Uh, sorry, of n of of one. 
sorry, of one. Haha. <laughs> so of one since um since we're just like incrementing it. And uh so this one right here, um the get method will be log of n because you're actually searching through um through the tree map to get the value that we care about. So that will be log n. So just to reiterate, the snapshot will be of n. Um because we have to go through each and every single index to store the tree map and put the values. Set would be O of one, snap would be O of one, and then get would be O of log n. Awesome. If you have any questions about the problem that we just solved, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I would really appreciate that. It definitely keeps me motivated to make more videos. Um, thanks so much.